Hey crafters, it's me, Jen Evers, with Quality Crafts, and it feels like it's been a while since we've done a card together, so let's go down to the table and create a really cute one. You ready? Okay, let's get started. Don't be afraid to make really different shaped cards. This one I made, which I didn't even measure it, is a four by like four and a quarter. So it's just an odd shaped piece of paper I had left over. I had made this, I don't know, a few weeks back when uh, Kate's Cuttables had this little cute cuttable guy. And I cut them out and colored them and pieced them all together. And then I just pulled some other things that I knew that would work work well with the card. I thought I was going to use this punch. I did punch out uh, one of these circles. You could use that. Book paper is really fun to use. Having trouble there. <laughs> anyway, I did end up using the book paper. So I grabbed some of this that matches really well with the colors that I did the owl on so we're gonna go ahead and put that down and then the book paper I ripped to just fit behind that piece so I'm gonna glue that on too so it's gonna put a piece across there line that up the way I want it to look just like there's just a couple of little hills right behind him and then this will create a nice bottom border to the card It's fun sometimes to use uh, cardstock that's a different color than just white, too. And he is going to sit somewhere around there. I think I'll pop dot him up. Alrighty. And then I thought these would be really fun. I went ahead and used this punch to make the flowers. And then I had some hearts, but I wanted the hearts to be red. So here's what I did. I just went ahead and colored a piece of paper with my Spectrum Noir red marker. And then I used a punch to go ahead and just punch out some red hearts so that they would all go together and I wouldn't have to dig through my stash to find a red piece of paper. And that's what I used, these little red hearts to put on top of there. And I simply glued them on. Now I thought they made a really cute touch, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the center of them, and I'm going to add two of them. One right there. And again, where did my circle go? You could put these behind the hearts to make that all tie in as well. I just didn't think that they stood out quite as well with that paper behind it, so I just decided to skip that part. So a little bit of glue on here, and I'm going to put that guy right there. Then I've got a little piece of white paper left over from this. So instead of throwing that out, I'm just going to kind of measure it up. Use my handy dandy fingernail, make a mark on there where I want to cut that off. Bring in my trimmer and make a slice. And this is going to be the place where I write my sentiment when I decide who I want to give the card to and what for. I'm not one that's really good at picking out sentiments ahead of time, and sometimes I just need cards that are on hand for certain things like thank yous and whatnot. So I'm just going to put that here on the inside so I've got a place to write something when I'm ready to give the card. And that finishes it off. So if you like little cut files like this, if you've got, you know, paper in your stash that you aren't using and some markers, you can make everything on your card match. And you can go to Kate Cuttables every single day, katecuttables.com. I'll put the description link, uh, uh, the description in the link below, the link in the description box below, if I could get it right, so that you can find more. She gives out free cut files every single day. And you can always stop by my uh, Facebook group, which is called Quality Crafts, and I will uh, link you to those in case you forget. So if you sign up to be a member of my Facebook group, you'll always be reminded about them. And they're super cute. They're always super fun. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next video.